Welcome to Celebrity Page. I'm James Vaughn at the Grove in Los Angeles. Sonia Isabel is on assignment. Coming up, we're on the red carpet talking to the supermodels of the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Plus, we're talking about the future of the Mindy Project. But first, our big story. With the Oscars right around the corner, the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences is making sure its show won't be defined by a familiar hashtag for the third year in a row. Oscars so white. Here are some more of this year's nominations. For the first time ever, three black actors are nominated in the same category. It's not easy for me to admit that I've been standing in the same place for 18 years. Well, I've been standing with you. Viola Davis, Naomi Harris, and Octavia Spencer gunning for best Best Supporting Actress Gold. In all, a record six black actors are up for an Oscar this year. Are we yes. moving in the right direction? Well, let's hope we are. I mean, it's wonderful. Celebrity Page senior correspondent Arthur Kay talking to former Oscar nominee Lawrence Fishburne about the change. I mean, congratulations to everyone that was nominated, and it's nice that we don't have to do Oscar So White again this year. The Oscar So White movement growing louder after two consecutive years of zero non-white nominees in acting categories. Only 32 black actors have won in the 88-year history of the Academy Awards. Black doesn't just exist as a struggle. Black also exists as excellence. Daily Show host Trevor Noah giving his pick for this year's best picture. Oh, for me, Moonlight was everything. A, like a movie that tackles, you know, masculinity and, and sexuality in, in the way that it did. Why are you looking at me like that? Sir? We cannot deny that growing up in black communities, the idea of of the queer image is one that has been for so long been wrestled with, you know? And what Moonlight did was in a beautiful way just told the story. Touched my heart forever. The indie film up for eight awards. Star Mahershala Ali, the front runner for Best Supporting Actor. At some point, you gotta decide for yourself who you want to be. Can't let nobody make that decision for you. Lethal Weapon star Keisha Sharp excited to see a move in the right direction. I do feel like things are changing for the better. I feel like our stories are being told. I feel like there's they're everybody's story, right? That it's not just a black story, white story, or Asian story, or Latino story. It's a human story. If you were a white man, would you wish to be an engineer? I wouldn't have to. I'd already be one. I'm excited about the Oscar nominations. I think every single one of them deserve it, and it doesn't really matter to me who wins. You can see who wins when the 89th Annual Academy Awards air Sunday on ABC.